And good morning. Time to wake up. And yes, it's official. His birthday's finally over. Thank goodness. Yeah, I had to come to work think. to rest. <laughs> and that's why I'm getting a chocolate pie for my birthday this morning. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank you all for getting up with us on a Tuesday morning after the Bama beatdown over the weekend of the Michigan Wolverines. Special guest today, Miss Amy Horton up here. How are you? Fine. You're an Auburn fan. War Eagle. That's okay. We accept all kind of people up on this program, don't we, Tom? I sure do. Yeah. We'll talk a lot of stuff going on this morning. This is Athens in the AM on this Tuesday morning edition of Cooper and Company Live. Tom joins us as always on a Tuesday morning. We got a lot of stuff going on. How's that game been that time? Love. Saturday night. Yeah. We're great, wonderful. Yeah, how's Mac like that Auburn loss? Oh, he didn't like it, but he's surviving. Yeah, he, well, he might. We might get him on over to Alabama. I don't know. Do a convert. You gonna convert over to? <laughs> don't see it happening. Now, Amy, you've already <laughs> prepared us a. What, what? How do you describe what this is? Chocolate cobbler. A chocolate cobbler. Chocolate cobbler. But now, this ain't your first rodeo. No, it's not. We have made many chocolate cobblers. That's one of the recipes on my Facebook page, and I think everybody in Limestone County's tried it. Uh, what is what is your Facebook page? It is called Amy's Down Home Cooking. Amy's Down Home Cooking. We're going to talk about that extensively coming up at 6.30 this morning also. But now, you have over 5,000 friends on Facebook. Right. All over the world. Right. You're coming out with a cookbook in October. Right. That'll be available, hard copies. Yes, you can get it at Hometown or you can order it through me. And you've got all kinds of recipes. You do fried okra and stuff like that? Every bit of it. Then why ain't you up here on a regular base and cooking something? Because you ain't asked me to. Well, not you're up here. Uh, Gail, come here a minute. Let me introduce one of her sidekicks this morning, Miss Gail Wells. You say you got some big balls cooking in the uh, oven? Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Sausage balls? You said they're too big? Huh? Abby. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, that's uh, so we will have those to eat a little bit later on this morning. Mm -hmm. And you're an Auburn fan, too. Absolutely. All right, I thought you was LSU with that purple on this morning. And I understand y'all know Frank. Yes, we do. Well, I won't hold that against you this morning. All right, y'all just sit back, get you some coffee. We'll look forward to getting you up on the program, Amy, and we'll see what all you can do. All right. Yeah, you got to go a long way to beat the jaw jacker up on Thursday morning. Well, man. you ain't met me yet. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I'm a big fried okra type person. I like boiled okra, too. All that I can do that, too. Well, oh. let's find out how many country recipes you can do. All right, let's get it cranking. My birthday's over. Roll, tide, roll. Couldn't have been any better. I'll talk all about it in just a little bit. Here's Gloria with the weather, because I think it's another big chance of rain. Oh, well, I don't know about a big chance of rain. We do have 30% chance of showers out there. We may see a little bit of sunshine, 73 degrees out there already this morning. It does feel kind of sticky, muggy, humid out there. So just be prepared for that when you walk out the door. High temperatures today around 87, your low of 68. Tomorrow, your high of 91 with low of 69. The rest of the forecast looking like 30% chance of rain is going to stick with us for several days. It may dry out by Thursday and Friday. will be A-OK. -okay. Hopefully, all those balls games take place Friday. Good luck to everyone out there. And yes, there is an article in the newspaper that Jamie has passed there out. Temperatures right in August cooler than normal. Average of 78 degrees. Sure feels like football's in the air. August had 11 days with 90 plus degrees and three days of temperatures below 60. So a lot of you are looking forward to cooler temperatures. Tom, official mm. protocol, man. I didn't mean to uh, date a <laughs> you off rude. like that, man. But you called me, so I'm going to come over and visit with you. It's two hours before the game. I got my game face on. <laughs> well, I'll just test you, see if you was ready. I got my game face on. I was ready at 11 o'clock that night. <laughs> got back from church Aww. at 11 Sunday. Doggone it. 12 o'clock, flipped over on ESPNU, the Bama game. I got to three see the ending. 3 o'clock. <laughs> I'd already watched it two other times that morning. Uh, three o'clock, the Auburn game, and lo and behold, at six o'clock, we played the Bama game again. Huh. So, yeah, Bama so Rose. Sweet. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. But anyway, it's great to be a Bama. Uh, the, according to our sports director, Zach, this morning, the AP poll is not out yet, mm -hmm. so we don't know if we went to number one or not. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't but, matter. Uh, all right. I want to go back to the, you just did the weather. You scare me, yeah. Well, you, you, you just didn't like that. I know, yeah. Well, there was a letter to the editor in Sunday's <laughs> Huntsville Times. This is not the first time we've heard complaints like this. Not about us. Okay. Nobody would ever complain about me. I just got kicked out of the kitchen. I can't be in the kitchen this morning. Miss Amy oh. has said, get out of the kitchen. Well, ain't the first time you've heard that. Well, that's true. Uh, <laughs> but thanks for my wonderful. Best birthday I've ever had in my entire 59 years. <laughs> now that I'm in my last year, my 50s. Got Bama shirts over here. We'll go through those. Do you think a it lasted too. long enough? And um, I got a, a lot of birthday wishes, Tom. Yeah, it lasted for got two weeks. Got some in the mail. No kidding. One of them said, tell your wife to put some clothes on. <laughs> well, it's my birthday. That's the way I want it. Yeah, 
Yeah, but some woman saying, thank you for the birthday. God said, tell Glory to put some clothes on. Well, at least they thought of me on your birthday. Yeah, they certainly did. Back to my original thing here. This guy what? writes this letter in, and this is a complaint they used to get all the time in Huntsville. Mm. Does anyone out there have a pet peeve similar to mine? I do not particularly need a meteorologist, that's somebody tells the weather, telling me <laughs> to take my umbrella or raincoat to work today because it's raining, or turn up the AC because it's hot, and hydrate because it's hot. Or turn on the AC and raise a window now because the temperature may be cooling down a bit. What's or how that? about a traffic advisor telling me to slow down for inclement weather or observe the speed limit or fasten my seatbelt or keep both hands on the wheel, Tom. I can't always do that because I need one hand for my breakfast sandwich or coffee. Hey, some of us are college educated. Some of us even have common sense. Remember that saying, everything I need to know I learned in the third grade? I rest my case, tongue in cheek, of course. God loves you and I am trying. So when I just said it's humid, I thought it was kindergarten muddy. where you learned everything. But what they're talking they about like is it. the Huntsville weatherman, and it's like that not just in mm -hmm. Huntsville, everywhere. And they come out and tell you, you might need to wear a sweater today. <laughs> Ram it up, you know, a sweater. <laughs> it's seventy. You might need to wear a sweater today. But like Take when it's an fifty degrees, you know, grab your sweater. You may not need it all day long. But the thing that they teach these guys not in meteorology that. school well, is talk to people like they're third graders. There you go. That's Take a sweater today. From now on. We'll be down playing ours to talk to folks like Frank. Mm -hmm. Frank, you go say hello. You go say hello. <laughs> now, and I got a couple pieces of gum from him the other day. He's the public <laughs> man. All right, this right here has to be yeah. my favorite picture of the Dallas deal here. Mm -hmm. Booted in Big D, the Decatur Daily Sunday morning paper. This is a shot of this woman. Look at that. A woman in Putting boots. on her boots in front of the Dallas Stadium. What do you think, yeah. Tom? That looks good. Yeah. Debbie Albino from Decatur puts on her cowboy boots, or Albino, uh, A-L-B-A-N-O, Albino, before the Cowboy Classic. That was one of the best games I've ever seen in my entire life. Really? Yeah, it sure was. It was a big, big victory. And they're saying in the paper this morning, uh, since I've already got up and read a few things, it says Alabama's best kept secret that ain't really a top secret, T.J. Yeldon. Mm-hmm. How about uh, that? Yeldon is Tide's worst kept secret. Tom, you may not know this, but right now the leading candidate for the Heisman Trophy was on ESPNU yesterday. Who would it be? I don't know. Barrett Jones. Oh, really? Yep. That's great. That's what they were telling him. Yeah. They had him on Skype. He's, just, he's, a, he's a class act. Mm -hmm. But, uh, all right. I just want to share this with you out of Decatur Daily this morning. Alabama's offense just about did about everything to Michigan's defense players except take them one by one and toss them in the stands. If the Crimson Tide had wanted, it could have taken them, held them upside down, and shaken them for loose change. The score may not look like it, but after Tide went up 24 to nothing, Coach Saban called off the horses. Hmm. Yeah, he did. Remember yeah. that we were watching in the last, what, minute and a half of the game? He's chewing someone out. And yeah. we're like, come on, Nick, really. <laughs> we could have done all that. Hey, you he don't quit coaching. That's moment, what man. they said. That's the only what thing said. wrong was those two passes. But enough yeah. about that. Let's talk about me for a moment. Of course. Y'all know we celebrated my birthday. <laughs> Started Thursday, went through today. It ends <laughs> end of this week. Ah, no. <laughs> well, what are some of the photographs we've got? Yeah. I, Alan Coleman out on the field. Alan Coleman trying out for the NFL. There he is. Dr. <laughs> Coleman was on the field bright he Friday night. He was there. I had text my man, you look like you're NFL ready. They had taken a tour of the stadium. He's bought us a suite down there now. Matt, we go Maddie Dallas, was also we, dressed up ready for the game. They, there she is. Oh, there's Smiley Maddie baby. getting ready with her Bama stuff on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She watched the game over in Frog Pond. Now, could any two look more alike? <laughs> Frog Pond. They're that's watching the, that's Happy Maddie Feet. Did you take, yeah. okay. There they are. The expression there, on both of their faces is the same. They're watching Happy Feet. There's me and watching Happy Feet, too, yesterday. You seen that, Tom? <laughs> no. A pretty good movie. Yeah. yeah like Easily that. entertained. Huh? And then he scared me with a snake over the weekend. Oh, yeah. I got out to the skimmer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was a baby snake in there. And like they say... I don't know. It looked poisonous to me, so I chopped his head off, Frank. What does it look like to you? A good dead, sn good any sna dead snake. Any dead snake is a good snake, the way I look at it. That's the way I look right. at it. What gets me is the, you know, what to do. The only good snake is a dead snake. What to do if you're snake bit? Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> How's that going to work, yeah. Frank? Yeah, if not I for get me. bit by a snake, oh, I'm just going to calmly walk by. Hey, I just got bit by a copperhead in the, the skimmer of the pool. Oh, well, go lay down. You'll be fine. 
<laughs> Go take if I nap. was going to that church over at Second Straight <laughs> Creek, yeah. That you know. would happen. Hey, speaking of crying foul, that's what you'd be crying if you lost an election, right? Okay. Or got bit by a snake. Down in Daphne, that's south of here, <laughs> a losing city council candidate in last week's election has accused his opponent, Tom, of using candy and stickers to imp <laughs> improperly win votes, and election officials have refused to enforce campaign laws. They were, they didn't have a runoff. They missed a three-way, it was a three-way race, and it only got separated by 33 votes. This guy says he was passing out candy with his name on it at the door going in to vote, which is against Ten, the law. Yeah. But yeah, be they ruled, away. they consulted the Secretary of State's office about the campaign rules, but it did not ask about candy. It says right here, representative says it was not a thing of value. Mm. You cannot pass out a thing of value at the polls. And they're saying the candy that had his name on it, a chocolate-sized bar with his stickers that were on it, were not illegal. Really? So, y'all know I ran for probate judge in Limestone County. Had I made it to the election day, I could have been outside passing out stuff. <laughs> Didn't a help would be some good of those for who me. did. Now, how'd that election go for me, Frank? Not too good. Not too good, right. <laughs> Not too good was right. Uh, okay, back to Bama. After one game this year, Alabama ranks 23rd in rushing defense, giving up 69 yards. 30 in total defense, 269. And it goes on and on. We play Western Kentucky this weekend. 2.39 p.m. It will be televised by the SEC Network. Don't know exactly yet where that's going to be. And LSU fans, if there's still any of y'all out there thinking you're going to win the national championship, good luck. The Honey Badger has enrolled at LSU, Tom, to go mm -hmm. to school. So he's staying. He's going to play football, so, but he's over there. So that tells me something's come brewing up to stay in school there. Yeah, he's going to try. Uh, he, Next year. All right. Play. The coach for Western Michigan, who we play this week, here's what he had to say. If you ask me, they're going to be the next expansion team in the NFL. They'll be the 33rd team in the NFL. Look at the, <laughs> they're loaded. Look how big they are. He said they could even give Green Bay a shot. Right now, Alabama is a 40 point favorite in that game Saturday afternoon. Who do they play? Western Kentucky. Another Western one. Kentucky. Okay. New Hampshire, that's north of here. <laughs> Authorities say a New Hampshire woman has been arrested four times in 26 hours Ooh. for blasting the ACD song. ACDC song. <laughs> ACDC. ACDC <laughs> song. Is that confusing? John D's favorite. <gasps> Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell. <laughs> and other loud music from her home and for throwing a frying pan. How'd that go, Frank? <laughs> Police said they issued a warning to Joyce Coffee Tuesday afternoon at her home. They said they were called back an hour later and arrested her for loud music. She was arrested again five hours later for again loud music. Police arrested her again after her nephew said he tried to remove some of her belongings from the house and then she threw the frying pan at him. <laughs> well, okay. I way to hell. All right. If you find it, did play we, it, Brian. Did we get all the pictures out? I think so. All right, let me tell you. The front page of USA Today has got this story at the bottom of the page. What would you get, Tom, when you used to get a tooth pull from the tooth fairy? Well, maybe a quarter or something a like that. A quarter. Frank? A dime. A dime. Yeah. Abby? I used to get a dollar. Nothing. Okay. You, you did, did too. Enough. You did <laughs> too. A dollar. Well, now they've created an app to tell you how much you should do give your kid. It's what? up to three dollars now, too, in case you didn't know. This is what USA Today says this morning. The tooth fairy is starting to look a lot more like Santa Claus. Kids got an average of $3 per tooth under their pillows this year. 15% up Tom, from last year. Mm. Some got as much as $20 per tooth. Wow. Goodness. It's a good time to be a kid with a loose tooth. Huh. Now, my dad, back when I was like 17, tried to dislodge a few of my teeth with a belt buckle <laughs> one day. How'd that go, Frank? Not too good, right? I deserved sure every moment of it. I'm sure you said something bad. It says here, nobody mm -hmm. wants their parent. Nobody wants to be the parent whose child is the talk of recess because of a frugal tooth fairy. <laughs> now tell me, this is on the front page of USA Today. To help not parents be any news. calculate the going rate for teeth, Visa Today is launching an app for its iPod, iPad, and iPhone, and a calculator on its Facebook. The app surveys data to determine the average payoff a child can expect based on a parent's gender, education, location, age, and income. That's really stupid. Are you friggin' kidding me? <laughs> that is really, really. That's too complicated. Stupid. <laughs>
It's Is that not this. the most stupid thing you can think of? <laughs> it's pretty dumb. How, how long uh, research was that? It, they, they took Wasted to how it. much money coming up with that? <laughs> ah, that's just... Says here, the app would be a driver of tooth inflation, not a tracker. Come on. <laughs> All right. Last story. Okay. Last story. Dear Abby, pay attention, Amy, you and Gail. Okay. How's those balls coming? <laughs> about ready They're to eat cooking right good. <laughs> okay, dear Abby, I'm 20 years younger than my husband. Oh, boy. Not quite. 17 only for all you nosy people out there. <laughs> I am attractive, sexually available to him. Are you making this up? Well, like, you want to read it? Sexually available to him. Okay, it really does say that. <laughs> have a great relationship except for one thing. I can't trust him. I've called him emailing women he met at work, inviting our neighbors to go on a ride, motorcycle ride with him, and heard many stories about him asking women out on a date. But the worstest of all was when I found that he was calling a woman every day and going to her house when I was at work. When I confronted him, he said, nothing sexually happened. But he moved out for a month. <laughs> Why does he feel he's got to have another woman? I really believe some men are cheaters no matter what. He cheated on the others too. I'm his, I'm his fourth wife. <laughs> yeah, that goes on. <laughs> written by Jamie Cooper. <laughs> no, it's written from you. Oh, well. You want to move out for a month? All this is true. Sure, I'll get a break. Except I don't know how to email. I don't know how to sex somebody a picture of me. You do by accident. And if I text somebody on my phone, I don't know how to erase a text. It's simple. I don't know how to send an email. That's a good thing. So if y'all want to get with me, women. <laughs> 230 Send me a letter. <laughs> send me a letter. <laughs> Will you move out for a month? <laughs> I'll just move. I said, I can't move upstairs. I can't go up down the steps. <laughs> no, I mean out. Move out for a month. But, Could okay, you survive? Why, if somebody like, and there may be other people out there as lucky as I am, I don't know. <laughs> but if you're out there and you're married to somebody like this, who makes yourself available as much as I want? It's my birthday, y'all know. Your birthday's over. No, my birthday never ends. <laughs> my birthday never ends. With that in mind, I believe I'll take a break and come back. We've got yeah, chocolate good. pie to eat this morning. we got some balls cooking over oh, there. And we're going to sausage balls. We're going to indulge in just a little bit. We'll take a break, come back on a Tuesday morning. Roll, tide, roll. Y'all hang on. Happy birthday.